Is the universe round, like a ball, or flat? Ezra, 34. Answered by Dr. Matt Bothwell, Outreach Facilitator, Institute of Astronomy, and Kevley Institute for Cosmology, University of Cambridge. Uh, before we answer this, we have to define what we actually mean when we say things are round or flat. Uh, what we mean is a flat space is one where the geometry behaves like the geometry you learn in school, like where the area of a circle is pi r squared, or the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Um, so this is a flat piece of paper. You can see I'm quite the artist. A uh, flat piece of paper with a triangle on it. If you add up the angles in the triangle, they will add up to 180 degrees. Simple, right? But if you don't have a flat space, if you have a curved space, like say this basketball is a curved object, right? You could draw lines on this on this basketball and things aren't quite so simple. You could draw a triangle, for example, with a straight line here and a straight line here and a straight line here. And all of these will meet at 90 degrees. So we've drawn a triangle on our curved surface where the angles up, add up to 270 degrees, right? Which is more than 180 degrees. So flat spaces are ones where the geometry behaves kind of simply and curved spaces are ones where the geometry is a bit strange. Uh, the, the technical name for this is non-Euclidean, right? So Euclid is the guy about two and a half thousand years ago who wrote down uh, the most basic rules of geometry. Uh, if the universe is a curved space, then it means it does interesting things, right? So you could fly off in a rocket and then many, many billions of years later, you could come back to where you started after looping around the universe. Uh, so it's quite an important thing to know whether our universe is flat or curved. And the way we make this measurement is by doing this, these kinds of geometry experiments. There's actually two ways to do it. Uh, so one of the ways is we do the basic kind of triangle experiment. We measure what we call cosmic triangles, and we add up the angles in these big triangles. And the answer is the universe seems flat when we do it that way. We get answers that are about 180 degrees. And the other way to do it is to measure how much stuff there is in the universe. Uh, so Einstein tells us, right, the theory of relativity tells us that matter curves space. That's what gravity is, right? It's matter curving space. And the more matter there is, the more space gets curved. And so if we can measure how much stuff there is in the universe, that will tell us whether there's enough stuff to curve the universe around into a ball. And when we do that experiment, the answer again is that the universe seems completely flat. There seems to be exactly the right amount of stuff in the universe to make it completely flat. So measuring it in two different ways, the universe appears to be flat.